have our dynamic stretching. So we're gonna start in our Cobra stretch here. So we're stretching through our abs. From here, we're gonna push our hips up and back into the downward dog, and then come back forward. So hold that position, and then push back and hold that position as well. Next one, we have the roll and reach. We're gonna roll back, come forward, and reach between our legs. Each time, try and reach a little bit further. Next, we have our scorpion stretch. So we're bringing that opposite leg up and across as close to that hand as possible. So again, we have our arms out and we're bringing that foot as close to that hand as possible. Next, we have our 90-90. So what I want you to think about is having this knee and this ankle at 90 degree angles. From here, we wanna flip our hips. If possible, we wanna be able to move side to side without using our hands. So if you need a hand, then you can use it. And if you wanna make this a little bit more difficult, you can even lift that back foot to increase that stretch from side to side. Next, we have the inch one. So you're gonna go to your hands and feet. We're gonna walk our hands out and then walk your feet back into your hands. Next, we have our deep squat and thoracic reach. So we wanna squat all the way down, grabbing our ankles and then twisting up as far as we can. Next, we have our narrow squat. So I want you to bring your feet together. I'm gonna to squat down as low as we can and then come back up. Focus on keeping your feet together, but keep your knees just apart. Next, we have our wide squat. So you want to take a really wide base, have those toes facing out. As we squat down, we want to push those knees out and get as low as possible. The last one, we have our reverse crossover lunge. So we're going backwards and we're going behind, like a bit of a curtsy kind of movement. We're lunging back, coming back. Make sure you get that foot back and across. Keep that core tight so you can keep your balance.